Okay, so I'm going to go over really quickly how to turn in an assignment in a very easy way. So first thing, remember this last one was in our Bodhi group, so you need to make sure you were within Bodhi. If it's easier for you in the future, I will just go to the main um, gate group, and I, I can do that either way if that's much easier. Okay, so we're going to go down to the page where our assignment actually was. There's this robots assignment. Okay, so the first thing you probably want to do is when you're looking at it and you're here, okay, you should see that the full thing is not showing. Okay, so I'm going to click show full post. Okay, so now I can see the full thing. Your next step should be to copy this. So I'm going to select the questions that I want to copy. And actually, if you had not done this first part here, okay, you could copy that as well. I'm going to assume you've already done that part, so I'm just going to copy the robot robotics assignment. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. And then my next step, I'm just going to paste those questions right into Word. Oh, a real quick hint too, um, when you're pasting stuff, if you don't want that gray in the background, you can actually go to paste and match formatting, um, and then that gray will not show up in the background, so that's kind of a nice little tip. Okay, so then once you're here, um, I have the question prompts there, so now I can write my response. Okay, and I uh, will be able to find your response, but what some people will do is sometimes they will type um, their response and then they will maybe highlight it so I can tell it's theirs, okay? Or they'll use a different color so I can tell that's their response. Either of those ways um, works, okay? And so then when you're finished writing your answers, one quick thing about your answers, notice this is five points. So when you're answering it, you should be answering, do you agree with the author's definition of a robot? And when you're talking about that, you should talk about, is it autonomous? Do you agree with the physical world? And do you agree with how it senses its environment? And then you should use examples to defend your position. And that whole thing is worth five points. If you just write, I agree with it, yes or no, um, that's probably only going to be worth one of those five points. Okay, same here. Notice this one is worth three. So that's going to tell you you need to probably do at least three things. Okay, so is the Curiosity Rover a robot? Why or why not? Use details. Okay, and then on your final question, what does a robot depend upon to be autonomous? Because of this dependence, is it fair to truly call it autonomous? Why or why not? Again, at least probably three different things touching on those questions in your response. Okay, um, once, you have, once you have finished typing it, what you're going to want to do is save that document. Okay, um, and what I would do is I would actually save it to my desktop so I could find it easily. That's my little um, technique that I always do when I'm working on stuff. Um, okay, so you're going to save that to your desktop. Okay, and then when you are back in Edmodo, what you'll do is you'll hit this. Now, yours will say turn it in, okay, because yours looks different from the teacher account, but you'll hit turn it in. Um, and then this is the point where it gets different, but you guys should know what it looks like from here. You'll be able to actually upload your document, okay? So, um, again, my screen at this point is kind of breaks down because I can't do what you can do, um, but you would upload that document. <coughs> Okay, now a few of you did it differently. Some of you actually just typed your response in here. That works too. Um, but the difference is if you upload it in Word, one thing I can do that's kind of cool is I can um, annotate it. Okay, so if we take a look at Nellie's, we can actually see that um, she used different colors like I suggested. And you can also see how off to the right I highlighted certain parts and then I commented on it. Okay, so uh, writing it in Word and uploading it allows me to do these things and to give you feedback like that. Okay, so I'm going to post this in the resources section, um, and I can create more videos like this in the future if you find this helpful.